Hello and welcome to tonight's edition of To Catch a Knitter. Knitting. What is it and does it pose a threat? Many of us are asking those very questions. Recently I sat down with knitting expert Gregor Fortnite to see just what deadly implications knitting could have on your community. Knitting is defined in the Oxford Dictionary by making a garment by interlocking loops of wool or other yarn with knitting needles or on a machine. Unfortunately, knitting is much, much more than that. Knitting, though on a cursory glance may appear to be hardly more than a harmless activity, has proven in recent studies to be eight times as addictive and thirty times as deadly as nicotine. A typical knitting scenario may be as follows. Take Susan, your average eight-year-old, interested in boys and reading and puppy dogs. One day, Susan's grandmother asks her over for a visit. Upon arriving at her grandmother's house, her grandmother proceeds to show her the harmless act of knitting. Susan immediately takes to this knitting activity and begins doing it in her free time. Eventually, the neighbors start complaining of a horrid odor. The police break down Susan's door, only to find Susan sitting there in a chair with two knitting needles in her hand. Dead. Following recent studies, such as those mentioned by Dr. Fortnite, every state in the country has passed laws that prohibit the teaching of knitting to minors. Among us, there live the scumbags that here at To Catch a Knitter we like to call knitophiles. But where, you might ask, do knitophiles find such a conglomeration of impressionable youth? The answer to that is on such popular chatting sites such as SewingGrounds.com. Here at To Catch Knitter, we have partnered with the team at www.PatchedJustice.com, an anti-knitting site, to go into these chatting sites and find some of these knitophiles in action. The process is an easy one. We simply hire a decoy to pretend to be a 16-year-old female with low self-esteem. We give her a chat screen name such as Oh, low self-esteem girl 03 and have her enter one of these sewing chat rooms. Then we wait for a knitophile to strike. It wasn't long at all before our decoy was hit on by Kitty Cat 03. How old are you? I'm 16, LOL. What you doing? Ha <laughs> ha. Just hitting home alone. Can I come over? My mom said I can't have strangers over. My name is Trevor. Now we're not strangers. What would we do? I was hoping to teach you how to make decorative stitches. I've never done that before. Does it hurt? Not if you wear a thimble. Oh, cool. So you want to come over? You know it. Where you live? I live in Carroll. Carroll, Iowa? Yep. Oh man, that's in Western Iowa. I may or may not be there tonight. I gotta go. Oh, wait up! And so, we waited up. But after eight hours, it appeared that Kitty Cat 03 was a no-show. I waited one day, and then I picked up my cell phone and called Kitty Cat 03. Um. Hello, is this Kitty Cat 03? Why? What do you need? Uh, could you confirm that you chat under the screen name Kitty Cat 03? Uh, sometimes I do it. Did you tell a girl that you would come to her house and knit with her? No, we were gonna go in her hot tub. Is there any reason you had a change of heart? Well, I knew that she lived in western Iowa. I did not want to get in with her morals there because they're very good in western Iowa. You did, not, you did not want to corrupt the morals of Western Iowa because that would be wrong. You respect the values of Western Iowa enough that you wouldn't want to corrupt them. You, you'd think that's morally wrong. I do. Um, but, but you see nothing wrong with teaching a girl to knit. Well, that's morally sound. Girl.